Hi, I'm Ruby Wax. Hello, I'm Ian McEwan. Hi, my name's Ed Balls. Hi, I'm Susie Dent. Hi there, I'm Claire Balding. Hi, I'm Val McDermott. Hello, I'm Alan Titchmarsh. How you doing? I'm Ian Wright. Hello, I'm Mark Billingham. Hi, I'm Nicholas Sparks. Oh, I heard a noise on the rooftop. I wonder what it was. I really ho ho hope it's Santa Claus. Oh, well, I mean, the brilliant thing about audiobooks is that, like, it means that you can multitask, you know, particularly if you're a woman. People love the audio of the girl on the train. Audiobooks for me are um, dog walking, car journeys, and going to sleep. Possibly because it's a first person, they're all first person narratives. It, it, it's, there's something really interesting about having that person actually talk to you rather than just reading their words. Uh, nowadays, I actually listen uh, to books more than read them. Uh, I mean, I've been an Audible customer for, I think, 10 years now. By the time I'd recorded the audiobook, I'd written the book kind of months in advance. So I was sort of going through it again, going, oh, that's quite funny. I'm quite, that was quite funny that I wrote six months ago. To be told a story that I have no connection to and, and perhaps no knowledge of the subject, I'm, I'm in. If the writing is good, the writing is good. A good story is a good story. I think it's great in the modern age that we're, we're, we've got so many different ways to access stories. In a lot of ways, our brains are hardwired for oral storytelling. You know, that's the majority of our history. So I think in a way we're getting back to that and people just simply love it. And it's really a different experience than reading a book um, because it just, you know, the book just flows over you. And sometimes, you know, um, I, think, I think audibly is sometimes the best way. <laughs>